So I have five good tips for eye makeup over 50. Hey, I'm Maggie D. I'm back with another video. It's nice to have you here. I've got five good eye makeup tips for over 50 aging eyes. Tip number one, reconsider or stop using eyeliner on your lower lash line. As we age, our eyes begin to appear smaller because of the way the skin gravitates and bags and changes and moves. And it has the effect that our eyes look smaller. If you go in with that eyeliner on your lower lash line, it's going to make your eyes look even more small. Another reason to stop doing it is bags. <laughs> I carry around a lot of baggage at age 57. If you struggle with eye bags under your eyes, I'm of the opinion that using an eyeliner under here across your lower lash line just brings attention to the size, the texture, and all the movement of your eye bags as you're laughing and talking in real life. Tip number two, your eyebrows are the wrong color. There are a lot of different brow products for a lot of different looks, but getting the color right is very important. A lot of makeup artists recommend for women of a certain age to go one shade lighter than the actual color that's a perfect match for your eyebrow hairs. The reason for this is you're going to knock down the contrast. They won't look garish or artificial. They're going to look a little bit even more natural, which will still frame your face and will still bring attention to your eyes, but it won't bring as much attention to the wrinkles around your eyebrows. Now to get your perfect color is a little tricky. It's a lot like finding your perfect foundation color. You have the color brown, dark brown, black, light brown, blonde, and then you have the undertone. Is it a cool brown or a warm brown? Does it have a reddish tone, an orange tone, like a auburn shade? Or does it have a taupe color? You have to take both of these things into consideration when you're looking for your perfect eyebrow color. To make things easiest, even though it costs a little more, you might want to go to an to a makeup counter and look for a brand that has a lot of shades, like ABH or, or Benefit. A lot of the higher end brands carry eyebrow products in a broader range of shades. Once you really hone that in and you know that I'm a, a cool blonde or a warm medium brown, sometimes you can start then shopping in the drugstore for the, that same matching color and then work on the formula and the uh, technique and all of that. Tip number three, using eyeshadow colors that are one or two steps lighter than your skin tone can make you look more awake, more bright-eyed, and bushy-tailed, more vibrant, and in essence, sometimes younger. Using these darker colors sometimes even accentuates the darker colors that we have going on as we age in the cor inner corner of our eye and underneath here. We have a lot of purples, a lot of darker browns, a lot of colors that show up under here that we really didn't have when we were younger. So using a lighter color here doesn't draw attention to those colors. When I use the lighter eyeshadow colors, even though my eyes appear more awake, I feel kind of blah. So I compensate for that by kind of pumping up the mascara, the eyeliner, and the eyebrow products. Tip number four. We're going to talk about the winged look. You may disagree, and I'm going out on a limb to say this, but we reach a certain age when our eyes just don't look that great anymore with a wing eyeliner. Part of the challenge of using makeup as you get older is being honest with yourself. <laughs> now, I, I'm not saying if you love wing eyeliner and some people have like the perfect eye shape, even as they get older, they don't have the hooded lid that covers up the wing or changes the shape of the wings, then go for it. But I'm just going to tell you, I think most of us don't look that great with a black wing eyeliner. It just doesn't look good. As for me, I've decided to get real with myself and I know that that just doesn't look good with the shape of my eyes and the way they're drooping as I've gotten older. I have abandoned the wing eyeliners for good. Tip number five is change the way you use your shimmers as you age. 
you're going to reach a point. You may not be there yet, or you may have crossed over that years ago, but you probably are going to reach a point where shimmer above the crease looks like crap. <laughs> it just makes it look really wrinkled and like almost like a piece of tin foil that's been crunched and then opened again and stuck on there sort of you can still wear shimmers as you get older i'm all about it i mean life is boring with just matte eyeshadow i still like it but i believe placement is key as you age for shimmers try to keep it on the mobile lid and that means from the crease down the part that goes up and down and maybe it doesn't show when you look straight on anymore maybe most of that is hidden but you know what you don't go through life like a robot with your eyelids straight up anymore you look around you, hi how are you you're talking you're anyway real life our eyes are not just straight ahead like in this video where i've got them wide open and you can't see any of my mobile lid you can wear those shimmers and just keep in mind other people can still see them another thing about shimmers is they run the gamut from a satin all the way to a full-on hardcore glimmer so you have to decide where you are on that spectrum and that will change every few years you may have aging lids but you still can do glitters and be happy with it or you may be you may have aging lids and you're only willing to go with the satin on the inner corner only just depends on your comfort level and where you're at and what you prefer but the best advice i have for your shimmers is don't get too used to using it one way because before you know it it's going to not work anymore and you're going to want to put them in a different place I hope some of these tips have helped you. I certainly don't want this to sound like a lecture in any way, but it is important as you get older to be a little honest with yourself. Don't keep thinking the things that you've done for the last five years are still working. You kind of have to take a cold, hard look and say, where am I on the lower eyelid liner? Where am I on the wings? Can I still do it? Where am I on the shimmers? Where am I on these really dark colors that just are, match those dark purples that match the dark purple right here and right here perfectly? Maybe these tips will at least give you some new ideas and some new things to try and, and see if you like it and see if you feel like your eyes look a little brighter and a little younger. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, I'd love a thumbs up, some comments. If you're new here, please subscribe. I make videos about makeup for women over 50. My name's Maggie D. I'm going to say goodbye now, and I hope you have a great day.